Hey y'all. Y'all, it is a very powerful time. We are in the Cyrus Sun Lions Gate 888 portal. When I say this is a very powerful transformative time, I mean it. <clears throat> this is the justice season that's changing those sixes into nines, clearing the path for that nine nine next year, that nine 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 portal, okay? When everything just is, you're gonna see such a change on earth. Right now, this is a powerful time to bring into fruition the things that you've been trying to manifest. Don't give up. It's okay to feel your emotions. It's okay to feel them. If they come up, feel them. Understand them. Don't judge yourself for them. But then release them and let them go. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. And don't harbor any resentment from things from the past. Even with people who may have went out their way to do you wrong. Okay? It's time to let certain people, places, and things go. And step into your truth and stand on business, okay? Because this is so beautiful. I feel like a tower is coming in for some of you. Um, and this is a tower that's going to bring justice into your life, okay? Um, big Libra energy. Somebody could be a Libra, but I'm getting going into Libra season. Your life is going to transform for the better. Um, there's offers that's coming in. If you feel like things have been stagnant, um, spirit said hold tight. Um, this this happened for a reason. Um, it happened because you you needed to see something or learn something in that moment. Um, the word today is gratitude. Okay, being grateful for what you have, and it it attracts more blessings. <laughs> I'm also getting. It could have been so many people like making fake accounts and stuff like that, trying to gang stalk you, trying to distract you, destroy you, um, um, in your reputation and stuff like that. But you have a strong character. Your character speaks for yourself. And don't ever let anybody get you out of character ever again, okay? <laughs> You've come too far. The same people that's stalking you and, and trying to say negative things about you, they're talking about themselves. So just let them talk. Let them be. Let them do whatever they want to do. As long as they're not directly hurting you, okay? As long as they're not physically hurting you. Um, for some of you, your your um, spirit is making you stronger. You have to have tough skin for the mission that you want, for the blessings that you want, for the things that you ask, you had been prepared for it, and now you're just open up to receive them, okay, <laughs> and that's like, look, self-respect, okay, you done learned your self-worth, you no longer doubt yourself, and if you do, it's time to stop, okay, um, know when to say when, know when to stand on your morals, this like when I say this is a magical time literally you're walking into your light your light shines so bright that you attract all types of people there's people that has to do spells to make people obsessed but you are your light the way that you love yourself and carry yourself is what make people want to be obsessed with you okay it just happened naturally you can't help it okay <laughs> spell no spell in the world could bring this type of like attraction that you have to you all right so what's going on we learn to have some suffering back and not standing up for foolery or none of that what's going on what's the word today here what's the word what's the word all right wait too many cards came out they said the word today is love okay spiritual maturity look spiritual maturity maturity and self-respect flew out again okay you got ancestors definitely backing you guiding you teaching you helping you with your writing if you're a journaler if you you could be an artist or a songwriter or something like that um spirit is 
going to help you through it. I feel like your creative juices is flowing again, okay? Your chakras are unblocked and, and aligned, okay? And if they're not, you can ask for them to be unblocked. Ask for them one at a time. Do Kundalini at your own risk, okay? But it's definitely beneficial in the long run, okay? But somebody has grown. Somebody has matured. Um, and I feel like this is all aspects. And because it's double maturity, I feel like this is the both of you. I feel like you and your person are in direct alignment. But they had some spiritual growth that they needed to do. But this person is ready to go up go up high with you. I feel like there's no limit to what y'all can do together. Literally, the stars are aligned for you guys, okay? You're connected with the divine universe. The numbers 37 and numbers 23. <clears throat> or five and seven okay somebody could be 57 somebody could birthday could be um uh, may 7th or um july 5th take what resonate for you or the 23rd somebody could be um 34 but you get the gif okay so take what resonate for you but the sky is the limit the sky is not even the limit i'm getting okay but we're gonna put them back and see what else comes out <clears throat> What else? What else? What? What's the word? What's the word? One card at a time, please. If you hear some noise, that's just the cats. They got the zoomies, okay? You know how it's like, they like kids. Like, soon you get on the phone, they want some attention, or they start acting up. <laughs> the silver waterfall. This is given like happily ever after. This is like abundance. Like you're stepping into your abundant era. Um, swans, they mate for life. There's butterflies out there. There's tropical birds. Some of you may live in a tropical place. Some of you may be visiting a tropical place soon. Um, some of you could really like waterfalls, but water is very therapeutic and it's helping you jump into this silver waterfall. It's helping you jump into um, the water. It's helping you quantum leap into your desired reality. That's for your highest good. And this is like such a beautiful time. Like I feel like you had to find your own happiness right now here, even in the moment, even when things didn't seem like it was going right. You had to try and keep pushing to find that peace within and not let anything disturb it and now you're being rewarded for it okay this is given ten of cups energy numbers 32 somebody could be 32 or the number five the sacred woman you hold yourself up to high regard um you have standards you have morals you have self-respect you have so much inner love um you have this healing quality to you you're very nurturing you're kind and you respect your body you respect who you are despite of what people try to paint of you you have this nurturing touch um something about your touch everything you touch um you got the golden touch the Midas touch but everything you touch is with love you put love into it whether it's food whether it's a massage or whatever the case may be some of you could be native american you know because some people you know said um why you call them indians um but what was they called before this was called america um, I don't feel like it's very offensive, but if you take offense to the word Indian, then I apologize to you. But what I am saying is, I feel like <laughs> some of you are definitely indigenous to, like you're, you're not, you may not know who you are. Somebody may not know who they are. Like, cause you know, <laughs> we were taught that we were, that, that. Um, black Americans are African Americans and every black American is not African it was indigenous people that was here that were black as well before um, Africans came over here to the Americas I feel like our history was just you know you know you know you had to unlearn and relearn a lot of things okay but um, some of you are may think that you're african but you may be actually black indian take what resonate for you but you're sacred your space is sacred you're the type of person that like to keep your home sacred you may not allow different energies inside your house you had to learn like this this person right here wasn't always this person well they were always this person but they had to remember who they are 
You had to go through so many trials and tribulations to get to this point. And that's why people don't understand. You could have been the type of person in the past. That's how I know people can change. You may have been the type of person in the past that was promiscuous or, you know, smoking, drinking, stuff like that. You know, hanging out, doing whatever, whatever. Some people may have went a little harder than that, you know. But your past does not define who you are now. You choose who you want to be right now. And whoever I'm talking to is, is very sacred. This is somebody who may be celibate or, um, you know, may. I'm not saying that you're perfect. Because this is not perfect. You may be perfect for somebody. But I'm not saying that you're perfect. But you have high morals for yourself. Um, you love yourself. You learned this. You learned how to love yourself. And I feel like you're teaching others too. Yeah, look. To find their inner peace. Some of you could be even praying for the world. For inner peace for the world. You are enough. You are worthy. The number 17, very powerful number, especially in the Twin Flame community. Um, the number 8, that inner peace. You finding your inner peace and taking pride in yourself and becoming sacred and, and building a sacred space for you and your children, your animals or whatever. It is um, put you in direct alignment with your life purpose. The number 19 Okay, somebody feels like you are their life purpose and they want to resolve conflict. I feel like your person is in a bad place or feeling very sad. And Spirit is saying, send them some love, some loving energy. Let them know telepathically that they are worthy. Be compassionate, understanding, um, have empathy and love for this person. Okay, see things from a higher perspective because even the dark entities, the karmics and stuff like that, they had a contract with you. They even they are helping you to get to your next level. That's what their mission was to make you stronger, to go against you so that you can learn how to become that warrior that you needed to become how to become whole and complete. I feel like you've been through so much stuff and now you finally found that inner peace. That peace within. Okay? Definitely something unexpected is about to happen. That's going to bring you so much joy, happiness, and it's a part of your life purpose. You learned everything that you needed to learn on your own. And now your person is coming in. Okay, we're going to pull one more. All right, now. Look what came out, y'all. Spiritual maturity, the divine masculine. Didn't I say that y'all both had to become more mature and y'all both are on the same page now? This divine mask, look, Leo season, big, big eight, eight lion's gate energy. And there's an eagle. This person is has elevated. They are no longer in alignment with those low frequency things. And like I said, we're not going to be perfect, but just do the best that you can. Okay, number 34, spiritual maturity want to come out. The divine masculine wants to come out. We're going to put that next to that. Let me move this stuff over. Yeah, it's definitely giving Ten of Cups energy. This person knows your worth. They also know that you're very sacred. Um, they had to learn self-respect for themselves. They had to become sacred has to become understanding of you they see you differently <clears throat> the number the number 12 or the number three but this person is coming in to date you look serendipity pure happiness joy building <coughs> excuse me intimacy coming in to tend to you to be there for you okay and help you in so many different ways more ways than just sexual it's like you know learning how to learn in each other bodies and learning um each other's mind like because i feel like whoever i'm talking to um people have to stimulate you mentally to even be able to you know arouse you sexually so whoever i'm talking to is very sacred very have hidden death to them I feel like how the world may see you may be one thing, but I feel like it's because you were hidden from the world for so long. You're literally still hidden in plain sight. There are some people that's finding out exactly who you are, but there are some people that like, if you're just walking down the street, they don't 
understand light because they don't they're in a dark place they don't see your light but those people are being removed from your path and you're now attracting like-minded like um hearted like-hearted people people who um have good hearts good spirit good energy and you're worthy of this you deserve this that's why you had to like separate yourself that's why you had to do this solo journey for a while you lost a lot of people a lot of things in the process but what you didn't do you didn't lose yourself you actually found yourself in that process so that you can finally attract the right type of people this divine masculine has been through the ringer and i feel like they're ready i keep getting i'm ready you know i'm ready to love you forever mm -hmm. I'm gonna love you forever more. Somebody is ready to date you. Um, I feel like court you for marriage. Okay, the number eight in this dating card was giving Romeo and Juliet vibes. Every time I see this, somebody could be wanting to bring you flowers. Like I said in the last reading, could want to show up for you. For those of you um who do not want an ex back it's okay to just skip past this reading if it's not for you um you know you don't have to write in the comments like oh i don't want this person because we're not talking about karmic people we're talking about divine people who chose to heal and love themselves and find themselves good people who choose not to do other people wrong and like i said everybody got a mission so i don't judge nobody but yeah, you can keep it to yourself. <laughs> What's going on, Silver Waterfall? What's this Silver Waterfall? Energy is very much given, very much abundant, wealthy, healthy, given much freedom. Like you can be traveling to so many beautiful places. Yeah, because you've been through, like when I say you've been through the ringer, you've been through a lot, many betrayals. You've been through so much hurt, but this has finally come to an end. There's an ending to um, the battle that has been upon you like i said big warrior energy it was so many different people that went against you that betrayed you that hurt you okay for some of you even your own mother sending you nightmares and trying to attack you in your dreams trying to enchant you in your dreams trying, trying to get you to accept things from them so they can destiny swap with you even maybe trying to stab you or kill you in your dreams like for some of you you have some real bad nightmares about your, your parent or a mother figure or it could have been about multiple people multiple people are going down it's so many people are going down because they went up against you and some of them i mean tried to sacrifice you whatever the case may be whatever they did they're going down for it and they're desperate people are getting desperate because like i said that piper got to get paid and somebody gonna pay it and it ain't gonna be you because you ain't do nothing wrong and that's why if you're being guided to move away from your family friends and stuff like that if you're being guided to do that i would listen to that guidance you're being protected from people, places, and things, okay, that's around you. And this message is not for everybody. I'm not telling you, everybody, you need to leave your family. No, I'm not saying that. Some people are very close with their family. Some people actually grew up loved. But I'm talking about to the ones that didn't grow up loved, had to grow up in survival mode. Even if in the beginning it felt like love, it may have turned into survival Mm -hmm. All right, I ain't going to get too much deeper into that. Come on, what's the silver waterfall spirit? Somebody is having sleepless nights, confusion, stress, not thinking that their manifestation is coming into fruition, but it is. There's a rainbow. You may not even see this coming, this positive energy. You may get some type of inkling in your sleep. They may give you something in your, in your dream state or something like that. But Spirit is saying, don't overthink this. Don't be so overwhelmed that you don't even know that your manifestations are already here. Okay? Sheesh. The death card. There's an ending happening. A big, a big transformation that's bringing in this new beginning. Okay? All the endings to the pain. I'm also getting ego death. Like, there's a big transformation that's happening. When I say big, I mean it's major. Okay, big Scorpio energy. What else? 
big Scorpio energy. What else? Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's bringing you into your independence. Bringing your abundance in. Okay, bringing in that. Because um, if you was going through anything financial, that's about to end. If you are single, that is about to end. Because you deserve this. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve joy. This is somebody who could be a business owner. Um, if there was blockages in your business, some of you may be changing jobs. Some of you may be starting your own business or thinking about it. I'm just telling you, there's some something big that's about to happen that's going to make you very happy. Okay? Something can even be given to you. Look, the tower, the six of pentacles to the tower under sacred woman. Somebody may be wanting to gift you something or... You're, get, you're getting something. Because some of you had inheritance and stuff like that. That's why a lot of these dark entities and dark people um, was coming after you. You could even have stuff that was hidden from you. You might not even know you have certain properties or inheritance and stuff like that. But um, Spirit is saying there's an ending to all of that. Whatever has been going on in the dark has come to the light. And Spirit is gifting you this. I feel like this also be a person... Like, they see that you're sacred. They see that you have this beautiful energy, that you have a kind heart. They see the truth about you. You've always been kind to this person. And now something is about to happen suddenly, and it's going to bring in justice. Didn't I say that in the beginning, though, y'all? Something is the tower. Something is about to happen suddenly that's going to bring in justice. What? What else? Give me, give me one more on this rainbow retriever. Look, the nine of cups to the ace of wands. This is something that you've been praying for. This is a wish being fulfilled. This is something that you worked real hard to get. Nine, nine. What I say in the beginning, I'm telling you, like, spirit just going to confirm everything that I just was saying. When I say there's an ending and then we got the death card, the nine of pentacles to the nine of cups, nine, nine. Look, to the Ace of Wands, a new, a brand new beginning is starting after something had to end, okay? An end to a, a karmic cycle, an end to poverty, an end to you being single, an end to you not getting what you want and how you want it. Because you stayed the path, you deserve to get everything you want. And don't let nobody tell you nothing different. What else? What else? What's this tower to the six of pentacles? What's this tower to the six of pentacles? The justice want to come out so bad, y'all. The page of swords. So you're about to finally see things go in your favor, okay? Know that you're protected. I feel like blockages are being removed. Look, with this justice card, know that court is in session and spirit is stepping in and they saying all you have to do in this moment is just rest and heal your body. Um, for some, for some of you, your person has walked, you or your person had to walk away from, from people, places, and things unexpectedly. Whoever they walked away from was very confused by them walking away or whatever. But spirit is saying right now it's time to rest if you're being guided to rest. Yeah, you're about to see something and somebody is watching you. Somebody has to watch you. The same people who went up against you and tried to bring you down now have to watch you rise to the top. So high that you're the sun. Look, in the shade, you shine through them. <laughs> what? You about to rise to the top. So high that you're the sun. In the shade, you shine through them. All right, six of wands, victory, success, public rec recognition, being put on a pedestal, being seen by the world, other pe like multiple people wanting to, you know, give give you things or be there for you or they see you now, they see the they see what you give, they see what you give is pure genuine love, like even people that may have fell for the lies or fell for the okie doke is now seeing who you are. And this happened suddenly and unexpectedly. It could have been something you said or did. I feel like you always just been yourself. You never switched up. And you don't hide who you was in the past. That's the difference. It's some people ashamed and embarrassed by things that they did. Like, okay, 
that's what you did but it's about who are you now if you're still into that same thing that's different but people do change the only people who think that people don't change is the people who hasn't changed okay because somebody that's a millionaire that got millions off of their business right is never going to judge you for wanting to start a business it only be the people who don't got no business so they in everybody else business <laughs> six of wands to the six of swords six six then i tell you like it's about to be a whole trans transform and the sixes is under end of peace inner peace you are enough six of wands six of swords this person is moving on to, to you they want to clear the air move on to a calmer place there could have been an argument or y'all just not seeing eye to eye but i feel like this person is tired of fighting with people that don't see their worth because they fighting with people it's like why are you fighting with me i'm not your enemy i'm getting like you they you this could be you or that person whoever this person has been fighting with or you they're like, you're fighting with me and I never was your enemy, but it's because they are their enemy. That whole time they were sleeping with the enemy and did not know it. They did not believe you. Some of you could have made, have even told this person, but they believe the lies and the trickery and the manipulation. Some of you have foresight. Some of you are seers. Some of you have all the clairs. And some, okay, because there's other ones that's unmentioned. Or they get heightened. But things are about to unexpectedly go in your favor. The Tower to the Six of Swords. So get some rest, baby. Get some sleep. Rest your mind. Take some deep breaths. If you're feeling very anxious and stuff like that. Some of you could feel, feel that something is about to happen. But don't know what it is. Just know that it's something positive for you. It's something that's going to make you feel um, excited. What's the spiritual maturity? The Queen of Cups. Yes. What else? The Queen of Cups. Very intuitive. Um, very kind-hearted. Compassionate. Understanding. To the Four of Wands. What else? What else? To the Emperor. The Emperor with the Empress, y'all. Come on now. The emperor with the empress. And this is going right next to divine masculine. I'm going to put it right under divine masculine, okay? With the strength card, with the ten of pentacles, with the ace of wands. We end in this reading with these cards, all right? But I'm going I'm to tell you what I feel about these cards and what is what is saying to me to speak to you, okay? Your divine masculine is ready for love. They understand and recognize you have a pure heart now because they opened their heart. They open their heart. This person is ready for union. They're ready for commitment. They're ready to be under the same roof as you. Now, for some of you, depending on your situation, they want to come in and court you and, you know, do this right this time and, like, you know, date you, take you out or whatever, get to know you better, pick your brain more, and then it's still going to end up, like, <laughs> going the way that y'all both wanted to go. I feel like y'all both want each other. Y'all want the same things and y'all are aligned with each other. Okay? This is giving power couple energy. They have love and heart. This is giving two givers, two passionate people. Some of you, all the signs is out here, but some of you um, could be Taurus, um, Aries, um, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn. But I feel like um, this person is ready to open their heart to you. Um, I feel like this person had to become whole and complete on their own. They had to go through a whole phase by themselves so that they can learn self-respect, um, love. That's why the that's why they ended up with a karmic. The karmic had to teach them what they don't want no more for themselves. Okay, and you had to learn how to become what you want to receive. And that taught them what they do want. You have been what they wanted all this time, but they just didn't understand. They didn't understand it in the beginning because they wasn't that yet. And a lot of them felt inferior. A lot of them felt insecure. Some of them felt like they were too good. 
Some of them felt better. Some of them had, you know, major egos. They thought something else was out there better. But this person now knows because they had to go on their own journey so to learn that the grass is not greener. Okay? But this is given like wanting to start a family ASAP. <laughs> Um, you, or you or y'all will eventually have a family together. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, build a legacy. It's like the the whole everything, like the the dream house, the dream cars, the the businesses, the everything, the the children, um, the life that you've always wanted is with each other. But now this person sees it very clearly. This person is on their way towards you. This person is, has found the courage, the inner strength, the inner peace. Like they went through all the different lessons. The same ones that you had to go through. They had to go through the same thing so that they can get to this point where they're spiritually mature. They weren't spiritually mature. That's why they didn't know who you were. They didn't understand spiritual, spirituality for what it is. Some of them didn't even believe in it. Some of them is more um, scientific. But I feel like even the scientists is starting to understand that spirituality is real. The divine is real. This person is coming in for a commitment, okay? Ready or not. Here they come, all right? 